Good morning, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and exceedingly glad in it. Psalm 65 and 11 says, You crown the year with a bountiful harvest, and even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Numbers 14 and 8. And if the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us safely into that land and give it to us. It is a rich land flowing with milk and honey. First Chronicles 23 and 26. Now the Levites will no longer need to move the tabernacle and its furnishings from place to place. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord God. He's worthy to be praised. Isaiah 58 and 11. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you're dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well water garden, like an ever flowing spring. Exodus 15 and 17. He makes a declaration of promise to us that he will bring us to uh, his own holy mountain, the sanctuary that he has prepared, the place of dwelling for his, made by his own hands. I've just paraphrased it. And finally, it's 1 Corinthians 16 and 9. There is a wide open door for a great work here, although many oppose me. Well, God is so good and he's so gracious and he's so kind. We were blessed to have our first live in-person worship encounter after two years. And the Lord uh, just met us mightily and just did some awesome things for us. By the time you get this message, we will be uh, almost 24 hours removed from that wonderful encounter. But nevertheless, it's powerful. So we are back to live worship now. 130 Jerusalem Avenue, the Holy Trinity, Pen Pen the Holy Trinity Episcopal Church, excuse me. 130 Jerusalem Avenue, Hicksville, zip code 11801. I had previously sent uh, information and guidelines about how to ex access the building. I'm going to uh, include those in this particular email. And I'm going to ask you to please just avail yourself of those. All right. Uh, our annual Bible literacy campaign comp continues, excuse me, using the Daily Readers Bible by the New Living Translation. And this week is going to be readings 94 through 100. Uh, Wednesday and Friday morning teleconference prayer encounter continues. It has been modified. Now it's only three cycles, so you have to get in and get in on time because it moves kind of quickly. And then Wednesday evening, um, midweek encounter is also resumes. Now, uh, today, Monday, uh, or by the time you all get this, will be today, Monday, April 4th, our occupation consecration uh, begins. And from 9 in the morning to 12 noon, every day for the next 21 days, we are fasting. And we're also reading the book, Building a Personal House of Prayer. I'm going to post those readings um, um, a couple of days in advance. And you'll find them uh, with the listings of the pages that coincide to the day. Uh, that will be the first set of numbers. And then you will find another set of numbers that coincide to the prayer guide that accompanies that reading for the day. Now, the first two or three days, there is no, there, there isn't a prayer guide reference. It's just taking us through uh, the foundation for the book. By the time we get to about day three or day four, you're going to see that second set of numbers. That's the coincide. That's the coinciding prayer guide to reinforce what is being discussed in the chapter for that day in terms of learning how to pray. So that's building your personal house of prayer. And we're just excited for what God is doing. Uh, so now remember, we are not meeting on Zoom on Sunday mornings anymore. We are broadcasting to our church uh, Facebook page, all right? But um, the live worship is awesome. God is doing some incredible things. And uh, just come on in. Just come on into the live worship and check us out. And we'll just be good to see each other uh, in person one more time after two years. Well, that uh, brings us to the close for this particular session of the pastoral greeting uh, for the week. And um, books were distributed, so if you didn't get your book, uh, you're going to have to make arrangements for us for how we can get it to you so that you do not fall too far behind with this particular occupation and consecration. And God wants to build us into a personal house of prayer as well as a corporate house of prayer. And so we want to be faithful to follow through with this occupation and consecration to get everything God has for us as we make our way um, into purpose and destiny. Now, the quote for this week comes from the message that was delivered which was, in every opposition, there is opportunity. In every opposition, there is opportunity. Well, God bless you, and that brings us to a close, and that's all for this week. Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly, but that we could ask or think. 
According to the power that works in us and to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and lift his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace and be you now forevermore. It is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we say and pray. Amen.